like 71 for my first time. Again, no stock, no, no. I'm not even using sights. I'm just shooting by feeling. Uh, that's the difference that short darts make. I mean, I, I literally can't get better than that. Lock blaster. A blaster you quite literally have to unlock to even use. The dirty things I would do to get this in the hands of the lock picking lawyer or McNally official. Seriously, if there is forces above us out there, please make that happen. Yes, I finally got my hands on it. A blaster I have been not so patiently waiting for for quite some months. This is the X-Shot Skins Lock Blaster, and it's not a pro blaster, but it is pro at being fundamentally one of the coolest looking things I've gotten my hands on in quite some time. And it rings in at a very comfortable $15 US, available at uh, apparently only at Walmart. But the main gimmick of this blaster, besides the fact that it is a freaking lever action shotgun revolver looking thing, is that you have to get the code to unlock and use your blaster via QR code on the other side of the thing. Allegedly, every single one of these is different, or at least there's enough difference between them, just with the QR code on the other side, that there can be five different combos, 10, 30, maybe even infinite. Well, as much as you can get with the three combo reels here. Oh, and it comes with the new X-Shot darts, their air pocket technology darts, which are pretty okay. And it looks like the cylinder actually pops out on this one, which I didn't realize and is now my new favorite thing ever. And yeah, you scan the QR code with your phone, it will take you to the X-Shot website and it will give you the code to unlock your blaster. I know there's gonna be at least one of you out there that's gonna complain about that, but otherwise I think it's a pretty cool little idea. Mostly just for the fact that then every single one of these blasters will technically be unique. But I do want you to let me know down in the comment section if you had the same code as me. And with that, that's comfy. No, seriously, this one just, I don't really care about anything else other than the fact that it costs $15 and it looks that freaking cool. Uh, that is amazing. Aha, they have cheated. It's a sticker, which I guess is also kind of a good thing because theoretically you do want to scan it, unlock it, remember the code and then put the sticker somewhere else or get rid of it. I don't know, how hard is this supposed to be? It's very easy to remove. Maybe that's by design, I'm not sure. QRID 111, well, let's go to it. X-Shot Lock Blaster. Shows me a real cool little cinema thing here, and I mean, you're literally seeing it. And the code is 161. I really wonder how many codes there are, because that was a surprisingly high quality animation. And yeah, one, six, and one. Clicks right in, and we're good to go. That is unreasonably cool. It's not super easy, but you could still one hand wield it. That is cool. Using it, that's so smooth. This seriously makes like every single lever action nerf has ever made look like garbage. I mean, let's not give it too much credit. It's still a Zuru blaster. It's still basically the adequate amount of plastic to make a functional toy, so it is a wobbly. The lever is pretty hollow. I'm a little bit worried about the durability. The trigger is exceptionally small. I'm sure you can see that, but it does work. It's very comfortable and uh, well, if you have bigger hands, I'm sorry, because this thing's perfect for me. All right, I'm, I'm really, really curious. One, one, two. And the code is zero, seven, two for this one. All right, uh, again, unreasonably cool. Yeah, for 30 bucks, this is pretty awesome. Does that cylinder actually come out? I don't think it does. I immediately stand corrected. It totally comes out. Oh my gosh. Oh, Zuru. Why do you keep winning so hard? So cool. <laughs> All right, I have one complaint. I don't think it's a minor one. I wish this cylinder was like a little bit larger. I, I don't like the dart head sticking out of the cylinder. I'm sorry. I love lever actions. This thing is fantastic. <laughs> to survive war, you have to become war. No! War 
Sword Planet Online is a massive multiplayer online game that you can play anywhere. Start your conquest from the safety and comfort of your PC, but always be ready from your mobile device. And as the name implies, this is warfare on a global scale. Make allies, make enemies, upgrade your base, harvest resources, and stockpile your forces to pit your army against AI combatants or, of course, other players. But the key to victory or defeat relies in your ability to pick the right lieutenant. Each lieutenant grants different bonuses to your troops and special skills, and you'll start off with Wolfgang right from the very beginning, a fan favorite. But of course, what game about war wouldn't be complete without Rambo? And if you join the Rambo First Blood Chain event before August 6th in War Planet Online, not only will you get a bunch of exclusive limited time Rambo rewards, but you can even score John Rambo himself as a new lieutenant. So scan the QR code on screen or check out the link down in the description and pinned comment below. Recruit Rambo to your forces, make some friends, and of course, make some enemies as you carve your own story through War Planet Online. Thanks to Game Law for sponsoring this video. Click the link down below to get your war on and for the, can you, can you please stop attacking me for like 24 hours? Would you just stop blowing up my everything? So to objectively compare the Lock Blaster here to other blasters on the market, we need a data point, and we're gonna measure its velocity, and that's what Freddy is for. Freddy is a chronograph that measures the velocity of objects in feet per second. The average velocity of a standard Nerf Blaster is around 70 feet per second, or FPS. This is an X-Shot Blaster, so I assume it's gonna hit a little bit harder, and let's see if that assumption is correct. 75.9. 72.9. 74.1, 68 .1, 81 .6, 76.3, 80.7, and 74.6. So it's comparable to a standard Nerf blaster, but for looking this cool and being $15, I, I don't really care. It's, it's rad. Welcome to my indoor simulated range. I've got a digital target down there and it has a bullseye on it. Closer to the center of the bullseye, higher the score. Typically blasters that are decent score around a 75. Exceptionally good blasters hit around 85. Now this thing does have a Picatinny rail at the top of it, so of course I put on an ACOG. Cause I mean, you, you gotta have an ACOG on your lever action shotgun looking thing. And I've got a bunch of the standard Zuru darts. Now it should be noted that you can very easily convert this thing to shoot half length darts by just clipping out the dart posts at the back end of the cylinder. I'm not gonna be doing that, but you could do that and you would get increased performance. The entire point of this video is to show what it's like in its stock form. Ah, uh, let's see what it's like. That actually wasn't half bad. Okay, that was way off. One more shot and then I'm ditching it. Yeah, it's, it's just not strong enough. So let's just shoot by feeling. That was bad. That was pretty bad. That was in the same place, bad. Uh, let's, uh, let's just take that off because that weighs more than the actual blaster. All right, so first up, can I hit the little target? Yeah! All right. Ah, oh, it's just so smooth to shoot. Yeah, it doesn't feel particularly accurate. I feel like someone's gonna complain if I don't test it. So let's at least give it a shot using half length darts. All right, let's see if I'm crazy. You know, that's the clip right there that anybody who ever tells me, oh, you're missing because you suck. You're pulling the trigger right. You're not wearing your glasses and every other excuse in the book. No, no, my aim is fine. The problem is always going to be dart or blaster related. Like 71 for my first time. Again, no stock, no, no. I'm not even using sights. I'm just shooting by feeling. Uh, that's the difference that short darts make. 
I mean, I, I literally can't get better than that. And because I know it will come up, uh, theoretically, you could put two darts per cylinder, but the cylinder only grips the darts at the very end. So if you try to put a second dart in front, it'll just fall out. But that could just be solved with like a 3D printed cylinder, which I'm sure is a thing that somebody is already working on. Oh my God, so good. This thing is absolutely worth every penny. Even if you don't like the lock gimmick, and I'm sure that's gonna be a problem for somebody out there. It's not very easy. Like you really have to try to roll these things over. And if you really wanted to, you can simply just swap out cylinders for a reload. Not that I think you should. It's just nice to have the option. That is so light and smooth. You can hear that. It is effortless. For the velocity you get out of this thing, that is rad as heck. I almost wish it was smaller. I seriously do. It's nice that it's not only a competent blaster out of the box for $15, but then on top of that, you have the cool little gimmick. But for $15, the fact you can dual wield them, and if you were just open it up and put a little bit of weight inside, like a couple of pennies, you'd be able to dual wield them far better. There are already 3D printed lever mods. I'll put the name of the Etsy shop down here that sells some STL files where you can do that. There's different cylinders, and there's gonna be a lot more because this blaster just came out. It's an absolute win.